May and the rest of her family turn into giant red pandas when they have powerful emotions, but why is May's mom, Ming Li's panda, so much bigger than the rest when it comes out at the end of the movie? It has to do with those powerful emotions, but not in the way that you think. The first hint comes when Ming Li tells May the story of their ancestor, Sun Yi. During a time of war, Sun Yi and her daughters were left alone without any protection, so one night, during a red moon, she asked the gods for a way to keep her family safe by turning into her favorite animal, a red panda. The gods granted her wish, and Sun Yi was given the ability to turn into a giant red panda, but only by harnessing intense emotions. This makes sense, as Sun Yi would need that power only when something happened that could cause extreme emotional distress, like if bandits attacked their village. Sun Yi passed this ability on to her daughters so that they'd be safe, even after she was gone, and they in turn could protect their family, passing that same gift down to their daughters and to their daughters and on and on, until we get to Ming Li and Mei. As Ming Li tells the story to Mei, we actually get an image of Sun Yi in her red panda form, and did you notice anything special about it? That's right, it's also a gigantic red panda towering above a village, just like Ming Li appears as she stomps through the streets of Toronto. So then, why is Ming Li's panda the size of Sun Yi's while all the other family members we see, including Mei, are much smaller? It's very likely that while heightened emotions are all it takes to turn into a red panda, the intensity of those emotions are ultimately what determines the size. See a boy you have a crush on? Poof! Turn into a big but not ridiculously sized red panda. Your village gets attacked by a horde of marauding bandits? Poof! You turn kaiju-sized like a Godzilla red panda ready to stomp your enemies into pancakes. Of course, there are no bandits at the end of the movie, so then why did Ming Li suddenly turn into the mega monster red panda? Because she thought there were bandits. That's right, a ruthless gang of thieves known as Four Town, ready to steal her daughter's precious heart. It might sound dramatic, but the film does a good job setting this up. We see much earlier in the movie just how protective of Mei Ming Li can be, especially when it comes to dating and boys. A couple of doodles of Daisy Mart clerk Devin as a merman are all it takes to set her off and rush down to the store to confront him. We've also already seen what Ming Li thinks of Four Town and the idea that Mei is at their concert and might even be having, let's say, romantic feelings toward them is enough for her to feel like an invading army has just shown up outside the walls and she grows to the size needed to defeat such an army. You might argue that maybe Ming Li's panda is just bigger than everyone else's, but the movie actually shows us that her panda is not always that big. At the end of the movie, in the mystical bamboo forest, we see Ming Li's red panda is bigger than the rest, but not nearly as big as it is when it rips the roof off the sky dome. This is probably because of the way she bottled up her emotions, especially when it came to dealing with her own mother. When Mei goes to the concert though, she literally believes that her daughter's life is in danger in some way, and so her form reflects what's needed to save her which leads to the truly gigantic size. So it isn't so much that Ming Li's red panda is so much bigger than the others, it's that she's the only one who felt that way at the moment to bring out her inner giant red panda. But that also means that since Mei kept her red panda power, the potential is still there to bring out a truly gigantic one in the future, and we can all sleep a little safer at night knowing that if Toronto is ever besieged by brigands, there's a 30-story tall fur baby ready to answer the call.